G'day, I'm Charlie McGee, back with some very basic ukulele tips. Um, first of all, if you've never picked up one of these before, they're very unassuming and unthreatening things made of wood, and uh, very easy to play. So the first thing you do to play a uke is you clasp it against your bosom and put one hand kind of holding it there with your, with your wristy, army, fleshy bit holding it on, and the other hand holding it up here somewhere. They're so light, you can generally hold it with one hand. Look, one hand! And, um, but you generally sort of want to be holding it like this. And the easiest chord in the universe to play on a ukulele is a C, which is this chord. So you get your finger, probably middle finger for now, on the third fret of the bottom string, which is a C. And then to strum, you can do a number of things. I'm going to start with some strumming because I love strumming. It's awesome. Um, you can do it with your thumb, which gives it a nice kind of, you know warm sound, or you can do it with your fingernail, which gives it a bit more of a, a bit more of a crisp sound. So I'm going to show you a little technique which I like to sort of have as a basis of all of my strumming, and that's just a generic kind of down up down up movement. No matter what strumming I'm doing, chances are my arm is just going down up down up down up down up down up. So if you just do that uh, with the back of your fingernail, kind of practice with your C note, holding it against your bosom. It's going to sound like that. So that's going down with your fingernail and up with the fleshy part of your finger. So down, up, down, up. Now it sounds a bit, you know, a little bit samey. But from that, you can get a whole lot of different patterns, and I'll go into them in different videos. But for now, we're just going to try and get into the rhythm of the backwards finger strum on a ukulele. And you can swing it up a little bit. So instead of being all like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you can swing it. Be like one and two and one and two and pretend you're on a beach in Hawaii. And as you get used to that, you can experiment with making some bits quieter and some bits louder. So you notice every second downstroke I'm doing, it's a little bit quieter than the, the other ones. And later on you can get all fancy like... But even when I'm doing that, you'll notice my hand is still just going down up, 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 down up. It's all different combinations. I'll go into them later on, but for now, have fun!